that's the way we're seeing it. Um, you know, going into Q4, we've been using a risk on rally target of 4,000. We hit that. We've begun to pull back off of that. It was all predicated on uh, the view that you'd see a peaking in rate expectations, which transpired into November. Now, the sell-off that we've been facing recently has been on the backdrop of rates ticking higher. As we go into the first part of next year, we continue of the view that we're going to be facing sort of a three-pronged headwind. Uh, the first is ongoing, you know, more hawkish uh, Fed rhetoric. The second is sort of this, this persistency of weaker economic activity against this rate backdrop. And then the third po po point is that we think the Q4 earnings period will come with it um, a number of 23 outlook expectation resets by many C-suites. The combination of that kind of sets up for a pullback into the start of the year. We begin to come out of that as we go into the spring time frame. But, I, but the bottom line, and I want to make sure my viewers uh, have heard us correctly here, 4,000 is your end of year target for the, uh, for the S&P 500. So we end up not doing all that much. We end up not doing that much, but I think a, a theme that we're really starting to focus on here is what we've seen historically around recession periods, and that is a market pickup in dispersion effects within the market. So we actually think that the backdrop is going to be really interesting here for whether it's industry group, sector, or stock-specific differentiation. So against a flattish full-year backdrop, uh, our message is be attuned and attentive to uh, stock selection opportunities as a, as a main um, approach to navigating this, this ongoing recessionary backdrop. I have to say, as I look at your sector ideas, based on your overall sort of worldview, if you want to call it that, I'm kind of surprised that real estate is an area that you like. How yep. does that mesh with how you feel about the overall environment and market? So we're playing sort of a barbell approach, as you can see here. Healthcare is sort of a ongoing defensive positioning. We've been on this sector all year. Um, it's been a, a good uh, call for us. We upgraded um, a couple of weeks ago three, these three other sectors, which include en industrials and energy, which is going to be a little bit more of a risk on uh, economic sensitive uh, attribute. And then the real estate component, also historically um, a more defensively positioned sector. That's a function of the fundamentals that surround the sector. But what you really need for this sector, in, in our view, to kind of uh, maintain some relative outperformance, it's a little bit more confidence that we're looking at, at peaking rates, which we think is underway right now.